all right welcome back in this video we are going to check out the local user and groups we did use it briefly in a previous video where uh, we needed to solve the uh, remote desktop services uh, unable to log in uh, user uh, so the quickest way is basically by typing run in run type l u s r m g r dot m s c it should open up the local user manager and the other way around is uh, nope here in the windows go for uh, computer management right there from within the manager if it loads there is local users and groups and within there you can see the groups and users so where it is uh, uh, helpful it is helpful to add users uh, and assign them certain type of permissions that are not available other way around a very good example is uh, for my host machine I run virtual machines and my son loves to play around with them as well in his account it is is a standard account on my computer so obviously uh, I wanted it to be standard not an admin uh, that uh, account by default cannot run hyper v managers uh, this thing right here uh, no manager the manager won't connect to hyper v uh, virtual machines and in like essentially he will not be able to run any virtual machines but uh, what you can do from within the uh, computer uh, local user and groups you can find his username uh, go to the properties uh, like and uh, we did in the last video unfortunately over here we can show you because the hyper v is not available but basically you'll go to member of add the member and you will type in uh, let me see if they we won't see a Hyper-V group only because Hyper-V is not enabled here. So that is why. But uh, maybe on my... Uh, I can show you on my host machine. If I go here and I go to for the test. And for the test user, member of add advance probably we're gonna see a Hyper-V uh, right there Hyper-V admin so basically we assign that to this user that you we want uh, them to give access to uh, Hyper-V virtual machines so that's why it's uh, the uh, local user and group it's extremely powerful it's uh it gives you a kind of taste of domain uh the other thing speaking of domain where it comes handy uh all of the by default all of the domain users should be able to uh log into your account uh, sorry log into the workstation but if for some reason you want a group of people to be able to access or assign them some local uh, administration or some local access that is not possible through the domain server like uh, of, of course they can log in but they may not be able to do a certain task on this in this particular workstation uh, locally then you go to groups and from here you can actually get a new group you type in the group name or search it uh, from you will select the location as your domain you will search that group that group will show up you add them and that group will show up here for example it was IT now they have full control of uh, this machine or you can add them to Hyper-V oh Hyper-V is there it's under the groups uh, for some reason it was showing up there but uh, good to know yep so actually let's go check Hyper-V again member of uh, advance point now we have a hyper-v here right there so uh, it looks like you don't have to go and enable hyper-v first there the group is but they're already by default 
all right so this is in the good overview of local users and groups what you can do what you need to be aware of and uh, it should give you a taste of domain uh, like how domain works in the domain if you right click on a user you get a ton of um, settings of customization you can do over there but of course it's just local that uh, called domain uh, group policy user management something like that we'll get to that later on all right so i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i uh, will see you in the next one